Okay, what we're going to do now is we're actually going to use the plugin to send an email to these restaurants. I've got four restaurants here. Notice the status is new. There's the email. Now th this will be filled in when they email you back. Um, select res restaurants as a template. Now this particular version of the plugin I have does not have all of the templates in it. It's just got restaurants. It's just here to show you how to do stuff. Select the profile bill and uh, let's select all of these and we're going to contact selected. So let's click this. Just let it work. Click start to begin. Loading URL. Now notice what it did. It went out to the first URL that we gave it, which is this, and it loaded this up. Okay? And here's our message. Now let me give you a little word of caution. You can actually, right now, go in here and change stuff. But please do not do that, because if you do that, you're going to break the plugin. Let, let me explain to you how you're going to break it. Um, when we get emailed back, okay, the plugin, the software inside the plugin, tries to match up this message. If that doesn't match up, because sometimes people delete the message and email you back, right? Tries to match up the email, and worst case, tries to match up the um, um, the name of the restaurant and the location with what's coming back in. That's how we make the match between the email coming back into your Gmail account and this particular account right here. So if you change this, you're going to mess that up. And you're not going to get... It's not 100%, okay? It, it, it's, it's never going to match it up 100%, but it, it actually does extremely well with this. But you're going to dramatically lower the number of matches that you get. All right, so please don't do that. So I would want to hit Submit. So right here, I'm going to hit Submit. Bam. I have submitted that. Okay. And I'm going to go to my next one. Was my submission successful? Yes. I'll show you how that works out. Uh, again, right here. Okay. And uh, is there a submit for this? I'm going to stop this a sec just so you don't hang around, to, just so you're not bored while I try to find the submit button. It looks like maybe I submit here. Let's see what happens. Okay, well, that didn't work. And again, not all of them are going to work. That was not successful. And a contact, and again, don't change this stuff. Send that. Okay, that's sent. Thank you. Yes, because that was successful. And here this filled in all of this stuff, blah, blah, blah. You can take that telephone number out if you want. Um, we load that up on the profile because some of these need it. Uh, I think it's probably not needed for matching this up. And that's not a real telephone number, by the way. So you, what you would do if you really wanted to put a real telephone number in there is you would set up a Gmail number on that Gmail account and uh, forward that to you if you want to do that. Or don't forward it anywhere. Okay. So let's say next. Well, was that one successful? It's hard to say. Yes, that one was successful. Now look, it says I marked one as failed, and I can try those in manual mode. I'd hit yes there. It's going to pull up the failed one in a sec. I'm going to stop this while it pulls it, pulls it on. And basically, you can take this stuff and take it from here and put it over to here manually. And that will work too. Okay? Hopefully that will get you straightened out and get you